Welcome to another segment of Character Origins, where I take a character of fiction and look at their origins, both biographical and conceptual. Today, I'll be looking at the origins of everyone's favorite sarcastic artificially intelligent computer system, the Genetic Lifeform and Disk Operating System, better known as GLaDOS. Now, for those of you who are short on time, here's the fast version. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. But, if you're too lazy for that, then let's begin. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. First appearing in Valve's portal for the orange box, GLaDOS was designed as a computer system for Aperture Science. The CEO of Aperture Science, Cave Johnson, was going to use it as a way to copy his brain in order to continue running his Aperture Science after he dies of moon rock poisoning. However, because he is so close to death before the system was ever going to be completed, he had his assistant Carolyn's essence placed into the machine instead. It is implied and heavily theorized that it was against her will, however. After decades worth of hard work, Gladys was officially activated in 1998 as part of one of many events during the company's Bring Your Daughter to Work Day. Since she was able to take control of half of the facility's features, GLaDOS began killing most of the inhabitants by flooding the Enrichment Center, the area where Aperture Science tested their latest experiments, with neurotoxin. Survivors tried to tame the manic machine by installing morality cores to instill an artificial conscience, which fails. Epically. Due to the actions of Doug Ratman, a surviving employee of Aperture, the main protagonist, Chell, is chosen to outwit GLaDOS and ultimately defeat her, which she does, but only temporarily. The character is a worldwide phenomenon, her voice is easily recognizable, and she's been ranked as the number one antagonist in video games. The character was created by Eric Wolpel and Kim Swift, and is best known for her misanthropic behavior. Well, this sounds like my kind of robot. She is narcissistic, scorning Chell and ultimately the player for defeating her and escaping. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. She is also sadistic as she takes pleasure in seeing the character struggle and fail frequently, and ultimately has no empathy for anyone. She was also a potato. The character is a cultural icon. Her voice has been used in every game on Valve's orange box as, obviously, GLaDOS and Portal, the administrator in Team Fortress 2, and as the combined Overwatch in Half-Life. And she was even the voice of a Jaeger's AI in Guillermo del Toro's Pacific Rim. Pilots, ready to connect. Let's go fishing. Two pilots engaged in neural bridge. And was used as a joke for a Valve presentation. She was given her own game, kind of, with the Poker Night series, in which Gladys hosts a poker night with many famous characters like Claptrap and that guy from Venture Brothers. I forget his name. Gladys is voiced by Ellen McLean and uh, Erwin, what is that? It's a turret. Searching. What's happening? Target acquired. Erwin, you're an idiot. I resent that. 